Well, the very close race for Pima County Sheriff will now go to a recount. That recount approved by the Board of Supervisors earlier today. News for Tucson's political specialist Eric Fink is live downtown with more on the recount timeline and when we can expect some results. Eric. Well, Sean, the race for a county, uh, county sheriff between Democratic incumbent Chris Nanos and his Republican challenger Heather Lappin will now officially go to a recount. That done by the Board of Supervisors earlier today. In other words, that call for the recount done by the board. There's 495 votes separating the two candidates. Nanos is leading by 495. Both candidates say they will respect the process. And now the Pima County Elections Department has about three weeks to complete the recount. After more than 487,000 ballots were cast in the race for Pima County Sheriff, Democratic incumbent Chris Nanos and his Republican challenger, Lieutenant Heather Lappin, are separated by just 495 votes. And that narrow margin means the race falls within the automatic recount threshold under state law. That threshold is one half of 1%. Pima County Elections Director Constance Hargrove says recounts most often don't change the outcome. Historically, we may see a one to two vote change, sometimes zero. But a lot of those changes will be due to voter intent, um, but it is not likely that you're going to see a significant change in the vote count. Hargrove says she and her team aim to start the recount on Friday. We'll let the party representatives know they'll come in, we'll do our logic and accuracy test, and then we will start counting immediately after that. And as soon as that's done, we will start counting ballots on tomorrow. The deadline to finish the recount is December 13th. The results will then be revealed by a judge. I reached out to both Nanos and Lappin. In a statement, Nanos says, quote, We respect the process and will continue to provide the community with the law enforcement service they know and rightfully expect. Lappin tells News 4 Tucson in part, quote, I'm happy to see the recount was approved by the Board of Supervisors. We will patiently await the results before any concessions are made. The recount is now officially going forward after the Board of Supervisors canvassed the election results Thursday morning, a requirement under state law. If the county did not do so, then that could jeopardize the inclusion of Pima County's votes in the state and uh, national vote totals. And coming up on Monday, Secretary of State Adrian Fontes and his team will certify the statewide results here in Arizona. Again, the recount in the race for Pima County Sheriff. That must be finished by Friday, December 13th, and we'll keep you updated. Live downtown, I'm Eric Fink, News 4 Tucson. Eric, thank you. The Maricopa County Board